clarity. Opening up your screen. And welcome to our master class for COVID-19. So glad that everybody's on the line with the the divine plan that you are a part of to embody your and it is safe to do your lines. Um, since we have um, minutes, we're going to um, just go ahead and run right through the the presentations. And I do apologize for last time not being able to recognize that, but this is what we start. If we could all kind of like mute our lines and um, just enjoy the presentation and have consideration for others. So as we move along, there'll be other people joining. I have muted the lines, so hopefully that will stick and um, we won't have any interruptions. So hello, my name is Shona Williams and this is the master class for COVID-19. I'm so very glad you could join us and um, I want to introduce you today to a world of very powerful foods. Your body is powerful, it's very resilient, okay? And food, actual food, was designed to sustain your body and to give it the proper fuel that it needs in order for it to do what it needs to do to fight for you, okay? So what I'm going to do today is just, um, introduce you to some of these foods and allow you to uh, uh, just allow you to come in and um, I do apologize I do not have anyone working on the back end and we do have only 40 minutes. Um, I wanted to allow everyone to come in either you can look into your email Jackie look into your email you can find a meeting ID there or I did post it on um, Facebook. I posted it on Facebook, so you can find it there also. So please do look on your Facebook page um, on, under your events, and you can find the meeting ID there. Alternatively, um, you should be looking in your email uh, for that meeting ID. All right, and so what I wanted to do, first of all, was um, just allow you to um, explore some of these foods that are really powerful foods that are designed to help your immune system, to build up your immune system. Um, what we've been doing all week this week is live food uh, workshop. I've been hosting a live food workshop explaining how to make some wonderful and delicious foods um, that are not cooked, that are all raw, Right, they're live, not just raw, but they are alive. And what that means is the food is not compromised at all by any heat. So once heat hits the food, once it's removed from the from the source, which is the ground, and it started to be heated, then you start breaking the food down and you start to kill it. Well, that food is now um, in a process where it is not as powerful as it would have been had you left it alive. Today, I'm going to show you how to make foods even more powerful than you would ever even imagine, okay? So one of the things that I wanted to talk about first and foremost is onions and garlics, leeks and scallions are top, top on your list, top on your list um, so that and I'm just letting people in as we move along so that you have them on your grocery list all the time. So these onions, leeks, garlics, scallions, chives, they contain component that is wonderful for you, for your respiratory system, for your immune system, um, for your overall health, okay? And for beautification also. So, um, these um, foods that are in the garlic family need to be activated. The onion and the garlic need to be activated, okay? So 
what we're going to do is make sure that you're peeling, make sure that you're peeling your garlic and your onion before you use it for anything. So these are the first things that are on your, um, on your preparation list when you're creating your meals, okay? Because they need to be activated, makes them more powerful, all right? Also, I'd like to say about the onion, I have a red onion in my hand. They're all different types of onions, okay? But some onions are meant for some things like cooking, like the white onions, and other onions, like the red onions, are meant for your salads. Why? Because there's delicate components in this onion, which makes it red. It is much more powerful for you and good for you if it's raw, okay? And it's actually much more powerful than the white onion. Okay, so you want to make sure that you have red uh, onions on your grocery list. Now, second thing about the um, about the garlic. When you take the garlic, you skin it or you peel it, and then you take the back of the knife and you press down on it and crush it. That is activating your garlic. So one thing we don't want to do is go out and get pre-minced or pre-peeled garlic because that whole activation process is there for, uh, for a reason, okay? So we want to make sure that, uh, here's Jabari. Hi, Jabari is waiting. Welcome, Jabari. I have everybody on mute. Um, so that garlic is actually activating. So you set these two things aside when you're preparing your meal and you allow them to activate as you're preparing your meal. Um, you can slice and dice and cut and blend, but at the end of things, you want to make sure that you don't forget to add in your onion and your garlic, <laughs> okay? Because it'll be set to the side. That's one way to make your meal a lot more powerful. Now, the other thing um, that I wanted to make mention of is when you're making these dishes, um, just be mindful that, uh, that you don't buy too much, all right? In my live food demonstrations this week, I didn't put out too much in, in, in the, uh, uh, the grocery list because organic foods spoil quickly because they're alive and they've been grown without any conventional methods, so their lifespan is shorter. So what you wanna do is you wanna get fresh food in small, you know, in, 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 in small quantities, or if you get fresh food in larger quantities, freeze it, okay? With um, our okra, for example. We got the okra and we had to, um, we had a couple of salads that we put it in live in its live form. Yes, you can eat okra live. As long as they're small, you know, and, and um, not stringy and old. The older ones, you can take, this is an okra. See that? Okay, so the older ones you can take and you can lop off the top and the bottom of it, slice it in half, and you put that in your water. Okay, you are, you are um, infusing that water. So in the morning, first thing you do is you have your water, all right? So we have to stay hydrated, must stay hydrated during this, um, during this pandemic. Um, so we want to infuse our water. Infuse your water with uh, okra. If you, if you are diabetic, okra is wonderful for diabetics. So put a couple of that, those older uh, pieces of okra into some water and make sure that that's the water that you're drinking in the morning, okay? And I do have to tell you this caveat. Um, we want to make sure that we're asking our doctor, if we're under physician's care, doctor's care, ask your doctor about the right type of plans for you, okay? Um, ask, tell your doctor we have full disclosure with whatever you're doing so that you can make sure that um, the medications that you're taking or that you're on um, don't uh, negatively interact with anything that you're doing. For example, I have the garlic cleanse um, on there. So I did a whole demonstration on the garlic cleanse. 
garlic cleanse might not be for everyone. So before you do anything, you have to talk to your doctor, okay? So um, there are all different types of cleanses that you can do, you know? So the live food cleanse, I recommend it because the food is powerful. The food is absolutely powerful and it's good for you. Um, uh, so when you go into herbal or powder uh, types of cleanses, then you might get some um, some negative interactions, you know. But definitely, food is going to be your friend as long as you're eating the right foods. And that's what I do as a coach. Um, I'm coaching you to give you the right foods in your diet, what you need to have in your diet. If you need to have green smoothies all the time, then I teach you how to make green smoothies, different types of green smoothies. You know, if you can explore some of the fruits and um, different types of seeds and things like that, I teach you how to do that also. But this class is definitely to help you open up the world of food, food that was designed to protect your system and to build your immunity, food that was designed to support your lung system. Okay, so um, moving on, we're talking about the power of food. All right, so here we have a tomato. So this tomato um, is organic. We're looking for, this is an ugly tomato also. It has a rich, deep purple red color. The deeper and richer that color, the more components that it has in it, the more powerful it is to help you and, and to, uh, to help you to build up your system. So these are the kinds of things that we're looking for, okay? Nice, deep, red, organic looking food. You know, um, not all of these foods that they're distributing are going to have the labels on it, but you know what you're looking for. And that's what this class is designed to do, to help you to pick out and choose the right things for you. Okay, so now, I wanted to also talk about the uh, citrus fruits. So the citrus fruits are amazing. They're high in vitamin C. Um, not the only thing that's high in vitamin C though. So you also have parsley, all right? So your parsley is not meant for decoration. It's meant to eat, all right? Um, but let's talk about the citrus fruits. The lemons, the oranges, the grapefruits, okay? They can all be, you can use the, the peel, which is also called the zest of that fruit to put into your salads, to put into your desserts, okay? And it has an enormous amount of flavor, but wonderful nutritional components that help your system to build antibodies, okay? And power your immune system. So when you're finished squeezing your fruit, okay, so squeeze your fruit. Squeeze it out, okay, and I'm making my, my delicious juice. Okay, no sugar. We have to step away from sugar right now. Um, making my delicious juice, what I really want to do is go for the power in these lines. It is essential oil. Okay, and it is full of antioxidants, very powerful. So that's how you make these more powerful. You don't throw the rinds away. You can clean with them. You can put them in your salad dressings. And as a matter of fact, all you have to do is take a, a serrated knife. You take your serrated knife and you just go right down the side of it and just take off the outermost part of that. And we just used this grapefruit for um, uh, some coconut balls that I did. So I put the grapefruit into the coconut balls. Okay, so we had a nice, wonderful flavor with the coconut balls and the rind of the grapefruit. Just popped up that, you know, that flavor exponentially. Okay, so now we have the rind of the lemon. What can you do with the rind of this lemon? Well, we want to put this lemon rind into our water, 
we want to drop this lemon rind into um, perhaps our uh, our pineapple water. Okay, remember we had the pineapple skins. We had the pineapple skins. We did not throw away those pineapple skins. We put them in water. We put the pineapple skins in water and we allowed that to matriculate. All of those nutrients matriculate into the water. Same thing with these lemon rinds. You drop that in there also. You can even make yourself a, a container of water, a gallon of water, drop some basil, some lemon rinds, and uh, some cucumbers into that water and just sip on that water all day long. Put it in the fridge and have it for the week, you know, a portion of the week anyway, and refill it as you're going along. You can do that because they're plants. They're plants and they're, they're fine in water, okay? It's just when we remove them from their source and we remove them from the water that they start to die. But if we continue to hydrate, just like we need to be hydrated, if we continue to hydrate our fruits and our vegetables, they're fine for a period of time. You can extend that life beyond the source, okay? Which is the plant and, and the tree or the bush or wherever it came from. So that's how you make your, your citrus fruits more powerful. You not only use the flesh of the fruit, but you also use the skin. That's why it's really, really important that we use organic and that we stay organic. We stay healthier if we stay organic, okay? And so um, the other thing I wanted to make sure that we talked about was uh, carrots. Now, with carrots, this carrot is, is fine, okay, in its form, but it's much more powerful once you start to grate it. Once you start to grate this carrot, the more you grate a carrot, the more powerful it becomes. You are activating that carrot. That's why it's so important for us to chew our food, for us to chew our food, spend time salivating and, and then tasting and exploring your food, okay? Make sure it is in your mouth and, and make sure that you are enjoying that flavor. I see, um, I see Anne on the line. I'm hoping that's Anne. Annie Appleseed and Fanta. Um, so, hi, Ann, if that's you. Hi, Ann Fanta is the uh, founder of, <laughs> she's the founder of Andy Appleseed. And uh, hi, mom. <laughs> and she is amazing. And if you would like to come on and speak to the audience at all, you are quite welcome. I'm so glad that you joined us today. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm on mute. I'm not much of a cook, so this is really important and useful for me. Thank you. You are quite welcome. Glad to have you, Anne. So yeah, back to the carrot. Okay, make sure that your, that your carrots are um, organic. And make sure that you're shredding your carrots. The more you shred the carrot, the more active it becomes for you. And the more powerful it is. Uh, the more powerful your foods are, again, the more powerful your immune system is going to be. And once again, it's very important that you uh, chew your food. Chew your food. Enjoy your food. It's a wonderful experience um, just to meld all those flavors together and allow that first portion of the digestive process to begin for you, okay? That first portion of the digestive process is in your mouth, okay? Now let's talk about these carrots. Organic carrots, you might see that, um, that you have different colors of carrots, and that's perfectly fine, actually. It's wonderful, okay? Um, we have someone else coming in. Okay, and she's joining now. So shalom, shalom, Ima. Okay, so we have uh, purple carrots, yellow carrots. Uh, the purple carrots, once again, have that red color to them. Um, so those are the nutrients that we want in our system. All right, so don't toss them aside or don't look at them sideways. You want these deep red purple colors 
in your system. Okay, also, uh, let's see. I wanted to talk to you about your, your vegetable scraps. So your vegetable scraps should not be thrown away. The tops and the bottoms of your vegetables, even your onions, and even your, uh, even like the tops and the bottoms of the okra, the tops and the bottoms of your, uh, of your garlic, the skin, everything right now is going to help you as long as it's organic. If it's not, then we have other problems. Okay, so the tops and the bottoms of your, um, of your veggies go into, and I'm not quite sure if I can dip this down, but they go into a pot of water. That pot of water is going to now be um, infused with all those nutrients from the tops and the bottoms of your celery, your, your carrots, your onions, and it's flavorful. All you have to do is drop a bay leaf in and season it with some uh, oregano and some basil, some, some rosemary, and you have a delicious stock, okay? So you boil that and you boil it down and you put it in mason jars and you store it in the freezer, in, in the refrigerator. That is your vegetable stock that you have designed and created for you and your family. It doesn't have any preservatives in it. You already know where it's coming from, hopefully from your garden. It's time to plant, so if you haven't planted, now is a perfect time. So the tops and the bottoms of your, uh, of your things go into your vegetable stock and that goes into your system. So what we want to do is make sure that we're using uh, as much of our uh of the, as much of our fruits and our vegetables as possible with the fruits okay we're not boiling them uh on a normal basis but we can take and take those fruits right and put them in a compost pile so that they can decompose so we want to make sure with our pineapple skins that we are boiling them putting some ginger in there okay you want ginger on the top of your little salsa and turmeric in as many of the dishes as possible. And here I've made a delicious um, apple. This is a live apple uh, apple pie. And it's apples and nuts, pecans and raisins, so delicious. Here I've made sprouts. Sprouts are really important and we're running out of time. So sprouts are really important. I made a mock tuna fish out of my uh, sprouted garbanzo beans. Beans are absolutely important on your grocery list. And cacao, cacao is a superfood, so we made coconut balls from the cacao. So these are really, really important for you to um, hold on to. Your salt should not be table salt, it should be Himalayan salt, and if you can, get the crystals, all right? Get anything uh, like seed in seed form so that you can break that seed and activate it and make it useful for you and more empowering to your body. So, um, make sure that you're doing your smoothies have your lemon water in the morning okay lemon water hot lemon water no sugar just hot lemon water and take and slice some of that zest off and drop it into that water it's a wonderful experience and it'll invigorate your system and you'll find that your skin starts to glow your body responds to this immediately because your body understands this type of food it doesn't understand the other type of food which is why we're sick so hopefully um, we're getting our seeds in. These are chia seeds, hemp seeds. These are our celery sticks and your carrot sticks. You can soak them in water and keep them like that. Um, if you find that you have too much food, freeze it, okay? Freeze your food. It's going to go well with you when you do that. So um, your snacks, your apples, apples, soaking your nuts before you eat them very important to soak your nuts and allow those allow that reaction to happen and make sure that you are having delicious and nutritious snacks avocado with uh, basil and salt and pepper and a little oregano delicious snack wonderful snack plus it goes really good in your salad so um once again 
thank you so, so very much for joining me. If um, there's any questions, I think I might have a little bit of time. the room that has anything okay so how did i make the pie okay so this pie was made with pecans this is the apple pie it was made with pecans i soaked my pecans okay raw and all your nuts are going to be raw all your seeds are going to be raw not salted and roasted so you soak those pecans and um, you mix them with um, some soaked dates and uh raisins and nuts and some papaya if you're like my mom you just throw all kinds of different dried fruits in there and you just blend them away and it turns into candy but <laughs> but however this is uh pecans and dates and raisins and um pumpkin seeds so you soak those put it in a blender um high speed blender i have a ninja that i use and then I just pulverize that and I make the crust. That crust is delicious and nutritious, okay? Because one, they've been soaked and two, they've been crushed, right? So now we have a nice crust. Then you just slice up your apples. Use the green apple, especially if you're diabetic because it has less sugar. So I like the green apple because it's tart, but you might like other types of apples and that's just fine. Just use the type of apple that's right for your um, particular situation. We all know our bodies, okay? So in this case, I like the green apples, nice and tart, and I just sliced that up and sprinkled some of the lemon juice on it and tossed it with some cinnamon and raisins, okay? And the rest of my um, my dates and, uh, and, and pecan mixture, and I just sprinkled that on top. So that's as easy peasy as that was. So um, you missed the part about the onions. Can you quickly revisit? Okay, the onions are important to peel them. Peel your onions and let them sit aside for um, 10 minutes at least. Same with your garlic. Peel your garlic and smash it. Let it sit aside for at least 10 minutes. There's an activation process that's happening. This is not just made up stuff, this is real. Food is very powerful and just like the carrots, when you crush, when you when you grate it, it becomes more powerful. Those the beta carotene and it just becomes very very powerful. Chew your food, okay. Um, anything else? Okay, I knew about crushing the garlic, but not peeling the onions. There you go. Okay. All right. And um, what did I use for the crust again? I used the crust. I uh, used pecans. All your nuts and seeds are going to be raw so you use your pecans and you soak them and then you mix them in with some soaked dates and raisins and um if you can some soaked uh pumpkin seeds then you make your crust in a ninja you can just pulverize all of that and smash it down um and then you can make that very very delicious okay let's see if i have anything else All right, so for someone transitioning into a healthy lifestyle, what are a few good starter items, veggies or uh, meals? Okay, so your smoothies are gonna be your number one go-to. Right now, especially um, if you're a cancer patient, if you're a diabetic, green smoothies, green smoothies for life, okay? Um, so with your green smoothies, uh, you have like a half of avocado, half of your green apple, um, your dulce, you know, um, and your, your your sprouts or your microgreens, okay, um, and your green veggies. Put some cucumbers in there, put some zucchini in there, and make that your green soup, your energy soup, you know. Um, also, you can do, uh, you can juice that, uh, you can juice your, your, your wheatgrass, all right? Delicious, nutritious, and plus, it's just going to take your immune system to another place. It's going to take it up quite a few notches. So um, definitely, definitely get into my live food class. The classes are recorded, so you don't miss a thing. So you haven't missed anything, even if we're already on day, we're already, you know, like in the middle of the week, you know, Thursday. So closer to the end of the week, but all of them are recorded. So that live food class, I sent you the link for that. 
come on my vegan page, my vegan plate, please, please page, and visit me there. And, um, and couture, uh, so shalom couture. Yeah, so visit my vegan plate, please page, and you can find a wonderful um, array of different recipe ideas for veganism. Uh, one thing you want to make sure of is that um, you're you have a coach that you're being guided through it though. You know, you need your B12. Where do you get that? You need to make sure that your, that your uh, meal plans are in alignment with your dietary needs, you know, for whatever uh, challenges you might be going through. So we want to make sure that you, this is a wonderful experience for you and your body so that you can be transformed and you can make this a lifestyle, a lifestyle change. So definitely have your snacks with you okay all week this week for live food week for those of you who join me who are in um the carrot sticks and the celery sticks put them in water save them if you find that you the lifespan for your uh and the lifespan for your your vegetables then um take it off compost it and the the good part juice it celery juice is so so good for you you know Use your beans and your sprouts, okay? You can eat sprouts in your, in your salads and you can make salads. This is a mock tuna salad that I made from garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans, celery, onions, garlic. It's delicious in, uh, in a wrap. And this is what we're using for our bread this week. We don't have bread, okay? Because bread is processed. But we're using like the curly, the curly lettuce. Right, so that is what we have, and it's